Right, he's um, nickel and the cones. Said so I'd um, <coughs> do a demo, and here it is. Now, I banged a hole in this 1960 half crown. Bloody hell. <coughs> Hard or what? Now, before I tidied it up, a finger in there caught. It was like a bloody razor blade. And there was no way that these would hold up to that kind of um, treatment. Cleaned it up. It's immaculate now. Spotless. So, if the clown doesn't fold this without damaging, it's got nothing to do with this coin. This coin is, well, it's beautiful. That's the standard I would say that you need to be working with nickel if this is going to work. I don't really know much about nickel. In fact, I don't know anything. So this is probably... Um, that's the first one I'm ever going to make. I've annealed it, but don't know a lot about that either. I annealed it to maybe just over a little bit of copper work. So, because you said there's a lot of copper in these, is it? I don't even know what's in it. So, let's just see if it folds. Now, this pack of six, obviously. But I think I'm going to go with the 22 mil. If it's nice and snug, and I might move it up to the 25. Might might not need to but we'll see right here we go ah. that was not not happy with that This might bottom out, so I'm going to leave a bit of a gap at the bottom there. Right. Nice and steady. I'm going to move that into another size. Hopefully a 1.2. Now I'm going to take it down one more time. Twice in fact. Alright, cone, no problem with the cone coming out. Going to 1.2. Oh, yeah, beauty. Might get another push down on that. No problems coming out, it's not sticking or anything. Uh, don't know what you think of the shape, but this was absolutely immaculate, so it wouldn't have been the coin's fault. Now, damage to the cone, I don't know if you can see, a lot of these marks are turning marks from when it was made. The hasn't, I didn't polish it up because I didn't need to, because I was doing this. Now, that is um, not a bad shape. Um, would I recommend them still with nickel? Never really crossed my mind to tell you the truth, Heath, when I was designing it for silver and gold, because 
didn't really think of nickel but of course there's a lot of you out there who use nickel but it's a bit of a success so I can get a better but would I recommend it I, if it was as clean as that what you just saw there I would say you have no problems What do you think? And the best thing I can do really is to, um, if you PM me, so I can knock a set up, send a set out for you to try because you say 80% of your work is nickel, um, and go from there. But I'll also stick in a, a half crown and show you the condition I think is needed to work with nickel um, you know the tidy up the punch hole and all that I'm not saying yours isn't um, adequate but then you can see what I mean but what I I'm still gonna put on all our adverts that this is d designed for silver and gold we're spending 10 minutes at the beginning to prepare preparation is a, is a big part of anything and especially in the jewelry industry preparation is um paramount really it's uh, those who fail to prepare get ready to prepare to fail really but um and then you've got no work at the end i could turn that into a ring now and there's no cleaning up on that section whatsoever so like i say preparation and the cone stood up to it quite well in fact, better than I thought, to tell you the truth. Quite happy with that. Look, all these marks here, that's turning marks from the lathe. That, I mean, they don't go out like that. They get polished up. That's a lot smoother. But um, it depends on the cone as well. You start for your hole. You've got a pack of six, so it's always going to be one that's available for that hole. But like I say, Heath, uh, get in touch and I'll send some out for you to try you know you might get on with them you might not and then um, I wouldn't take much to turn that into a ring now that's quite a good that's, that's quite a good fold for Nicole anyway um, take a look pick the bones out of that and then see what you can get back to me okie dokie bye now